So I remade uh, the Wish.com Steam Deck, um, starting with the bottom and then the uppercase, and uh, yeah. Looks like some delamination happened, but not really enough to be a problem. I taped up the underside, and so it should hold together while I add some glue. Alright, I guess tomorrow I'll see if this sticks. And I gotta go wash my hands. Alright, so that's the bottom side. Um, I ended up having a bit few more cracks than I was hoping for, but um, the plastic cement seems to have taken care of it. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it sticks. So for the top side, I um, split it up into these hexagonal patterns um, because uh, this will help limit the curling of the pieces and delamination. Basically it can't delaminate in straight lines if there are no straight lines. Um, and overall it came out pretty well. Um, I forgot to make this side uh, twice as thick and so it's a little fragile. I kind of broke it. And there was a printing error here, um, but it's not too big of an issue. Um, and then the other thing is that um, I was talking to my friend Eric and he was saying that if you put uh, some ABS at the end of the drill that you can use this to friction weld pieces together of ABS. So I'm going to try that out and hopefully it works better than um, the cement stuff. So I'm pretty sure my friend Eric told me to use a Dremel, not a drill. Um, so I searched that. And I put some tape around the uh, filaments that actually like fit in the Dremel hole, and uh, yeah, we'll see. So um, the router method didn't really work for me, so I ended up just going with a setting my soldering iron to about 300, and then just basically welding it together. And um, it took a while, and I had to put on respirator because it was kind of fumey. Open the window and turn on the fan. Um, but overall, it's pretty good. It's actually kind of sturdy. It's looking pretty good. I drilled a hole and then I put a long screw through there, and yeah, it seems to fit. Um, this back panel is a little uh, weaker than I was hoping, but that's fixed the next iteration. And now I just have to hope that at least three of these notches that I made can um, line up. Alright, it works. I've got one, two, and the third one is uh, right here. Three. So I saw someone else do this trick on YouTube where you take the rails out of the controller and you put them on the side of your device and then that way the uh, switch nunchucks or whatever you want to call them uh, will just slide right in. So I ended up having to go with hot glue because the screws I wanted to use were too rounded. Um, basically this part interfered with the, where the controller goes. But uh, yeah, works pretty nice. Okay, I removed the motherboard from the last panel and I put it into the new panel. Um, it's not the prettiest panel. <laughs> Probably needed to weld this one too, but that's okay. It's the backside. No one looks at that. Um, the fan could be better, obviously, um, but I don't want to mess with the heat pipe anymore because I'm already starting to dent it. Uh, hopefully it still works. Um, I got a real fan from like this actual laptop, and so it actually has like the PWM cables, and so uh, this should help with the energy saving. And then I also uh, removed some stuff in the back here so that the hard drive can fit back there and everything can be a bit more snug together. So I guess it's time to mount the front then. Alright, it's basically done. Um, it's a little back heavy or like this direction heavy um, because the batteries are back here and the handles are up here. Um, and then the other issue is the cables are right next to the hand that might cause problems. But uh, yeah, other than that, it all seems to be staying in there. Um, let's try it out. 
So yeah, it's basically done. Um, there's some bigger issues that I'm not sure I can really solve. At least, not without major redesigns, like the batteries are a bit heavy compared to, you know, if you really want to use it as a handheld. But that said, it does last eight hours, so it's practical at least. <laughs>